What up YouTube? Welcome back to a new video on the channel and today I'm going to show you my updated desk setup for summer 2022. There have been a couple of bigger and smaller changes that I made since my last setup video, so let's get into full detail. Let's start with the desk. The motorized legs are still the same, but I swapped the desktop from the white 220 by 60 centimeters to the black one that is 180 by 80 centimeters. I've been using the dual motor legs for a little more than two years now and they're still going strong. The desk features four presets, a memory button and two buttons to adjust the height of the desk. No need for me to change them. On top of the desk you will find the first change. A new desk mat that protects the desk itself but also for some extra flavor. The size of the desk mat is 120 by 60 centimeters, and I have a second one in white that lays on top of the black one. Both are from AliExpress but after receiving the second one all matte options for 120 by 60 centimeters vanish from AliExpress. I don't know why, maybe they will come back, maybe not. Previously I used a Grovemate desk mat that I plan to order a new one from Grovemate soon too, just to mix it up sometimes. On the back side below the desk and behind the monitors you'll find Philips Hue products to light up the desk setup. On the desk mat you will find my keyboard, mouse, macro pad and my iPhone charger. The mouse is still the Logitech MX Master 3, a trusty workhorse that I've been using for a long long time, but I'm currently debating on switching over to the Logitech Lift just to see if I can make it without the horizontal scroll wheel, so wish me luck on that endeavor. Now let's get to the changes. The keyboard. In my rotation are two boards. Daily driver for the majority is the 7B by GOG, which I just dropped the video on. It's custom painted in jet black matte and glossy, plateless 75% built with Gateron Oil Kings. The second one is the Chiwi 60, also by GOG 60% with an alu plate and OP black switches and a full custom brass back piece and a Milmax PCB. Next to my keyboard is my macro pad by BindPad. I use this to switch scenes while streaming, that's it. I modified the BindPad by removing the carbon fiber plate and go plateless. Not ideal, but it works and I put Gatoron line switches in it. Both the keyboard and macro pad are connected to my MacBook using KeepStuff custom cables. I've used one in the last video and got an additional one for the macro pad. Both have an USB-A end, but now you can get them with USB-C to USB-C. Also the final item is the Nomad Base 1 wireless charger. Simple, beautiful and functional, connects to the Anchor 65W USB-C charger and charges my phone. To the right of the desk mat you will find my blue compass microphone arm and attached to it is the Shure MV7 USB microphone. I downgraded my audio setup quite significantly to get some other stuff that I needed more than the audio interface and XLR mic. But to be honest, I miss the SM7B, although the MV7 is not bad at all. For the next setup video at the end of 2020 or early 2023, will be a new audio setup in place. Right next to the microphone arm is my Grid Studio CC iPhone 3G frame for your desk, coffee table or counter. It's one of the lesser known products by Grid Studio, but one of the ones that I love the most. On the opposite side we have the Orbit Key Nest, I mentioned it before, one of my favorite products of all time. I can put my EDC and Mac accessories in there for travel or when I need, don't need them and store them safely. In it you will find my AirPods Pro, MagSafe battery pack, Orbit Key key organizer, my Nomad card holder and my Sandus SSD. 
Next on the list is the Hexcal Studio Desk Shelf. One of the newest products on the market that I've featured in multiple videos now and that I absolutely cannot get rid of even if I wanted to. A sleek and modern desk shelf, the full review can be found on my channel and via the link in the description. Main features are cable management, integrated power strip and a light strip on the front. Of the desk shelf you will find something that will change quite soon is the Logitech Brio 4K. I expected much more of this camera and it's not bad, just bad for Mac users since you cannot adjust any options or settings as the software crashes on macOS and will not be fixed. This will be replaced really soon by the Opal camera which we'll cover on the channel very soon. In front of the desk is still my trusty Herman Miller embodied chair that I love, 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 love. And even though it's price point, I would make the purchase over and over again. I spend most of my time of the day at the desk and a comfortable chair is a must have. There's almost every adjustment to the embodied chair you can think of and I cannot tell you how comfortable it is to sit in the entire day. Full review can be found on the channel or in the description. Okay, now let's look at the big changes compared to my last setup video. The new powerhouse beneath the Hexcal Studio is the 14 inch 2021 M1 Pro MacBook Pro. This replaces my 2020 M1 MacBook Pro in 13 inch and it features 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of SSD storage and the sleek new design. I will compare the 2020 and 2021 MacBook Pro on the channel in the near future and give you my honest thoughts on both machines. And lastly, the display, or should I say, displays. This is something I dreamed of having since I got my first Apple Studio display, which is two of them. I had to wait until I had my new MacBook delivered to get the second, and delivery times were kind of screwing me over. Luckily, I found someone on eBay selling his unit brand new, not unboxed at all, and now we are here in dual 5K monitor glory powered by the 14-inch MacBook Pro. The screens, Speakers and design are just fantastic and I can't find a bad thing besides the price and webcam about the studio display. Visually and aesthetically this is heaven and even more if you put beautiful 5k wallpapers on each display this will brighten up your day. For some the setup is overkill and I agree it's not something that anyone needs to get their work done or call it essential to be successful. Professionally I'm in a position where I can afford the setup and also make my life easier using two displays. Could have been cheaper displays for sure. Does it have to be a keyboard that costs that much? No. But I was willing to spend the money on the setup and I love it. What do you think about the setup? What is your favorite product and part of the setup? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, leave a subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot and is much appreciated. Check out all my socials like Instagram, Twitter and Twitch to see more of me and my content. And until then, I will cue the music. Bye.